Now, kissing scenes are pretty par for the course in any mainstream Bollywood film these days, right? But what happens when a kissing scene features the two protagonists of a big-budget Bollywood film while they are in military uniform? Well, Hrithik Roshan and Deepika Padukone's latest movie, Fighter, obviously based on the Indian Air Force, has landed in potential mini-legal soup. The issue, a kissing scene where both actors who play Indian Air Force fighter pilots are in their flight suits. The legal notice has been issued to the filmmakers by an Indian Air Force serving officer from Assam named Wing Commander Soumya Deep Das, who claims that the scene is an insult to the Indian Air Force. That's a grab of the scene that has offended this one wing commander sitting in Assam. Now, the 2019 Pulwama attack, the 2019 Balakot airstrike, the 2019 India-Pakistan border clash, fine mention in this Bollywood action drama. Film Fighter, which released 12 days ago, is marching towards a worldwide collection of 350 crore plus. But the bone of contention right now is this one lip lock, this kissing scene of two superstar actors wearing Indian Air Force uniforms. So I want to go across to our guests this evening to discuss it. And who better to discuss it than people who've actually served in the Indian Air Force. Squadron leader Debulina Das is a former Air Force pilot. She's an airline pilot now. Ravira Bharadwaj is a well-known actor and Wing Commander R. K. Sarkar is also a retired Indian Air Force pilot. Welcome to all of you. Uh, you know, this is a, this is a bit of a, uh, uh, a subject that a, not a lot of people would be comfortable discussing because uh, it's, uh, uh, some would right at the, at the outset say, how silly for someone to be offended by something like this. On the other hand, it's an awkward issue because military ethos is a very important. I personally think it's a storm in a teacup. Nobody should really be offended by something like this. But who am I to say so? Let's get a word in from the experts. Squadron leader Debalina Das, welcome to you first. You know, you've been an Air Force pilot, so you've worn the uniform. Uh, are you offended by this scene? And just to be clear, fighter has been made with the full support of the Indian Air Force. Good evening. Uh, I have been in the Air Force for 10 years and I have retired now. So as a retired Air Force officer, I would like to first tell you that it is a great matter of great pride as well as power to don the Air Force uniform, to don the blue and the green overalls that we have that has been portrayed in the movie. It's an extremely uh, very, very uh, powerful and a matter of lot of uh, responsibility when we don this uniform. Like uh, Uncle Ben of Spider-Man said, with great power comes great responsibility. So any defense officer, when he or she is uh, wearing a uniform, there are a lot of people looking up to them. There are a lot of people being influenced by them. So in that pretext, definitely what we conduct, how we carry ourselves, what do we show the world and what are our mannerisms does affect the people around. Uh, we kind of uh, tend to influence people, especially the young people who flying or being a pilot is a passion for most of the youngsters. So yes, it definitely affects them. But on the other line, when I did see fighter, um, I was filled with nostalgia and I was filled with all the things that made me feel good about Air Force. Um, my 10 years of beautiful and very, very uh, progressive and satisfying tenure, it reminded me of that. So whatever aspects, many things in the movie. Okay, Squadron Leader and, Debelina's uh, uh, line has just frozen and I'm going to come back to her in just a moment. But uh, Squadron Leader Debelina, you've, you know, you've given a kind of complicated answer. You've said that, you know, these are, these are sensitive issues. Uh, you know, actors like these are very, very influential. But I want to underline once again, you know, what's wrong with a kiss? What is wrong with that? I mean, is it, is it unofficer-like? Is it offensive uh, you know, to people in the Air Force. And let's, let's be very clear that the Air Force has not objected at all. The Air Force actually supported the making of this film. This film was shot at a Sukhoi base. But some officer sitting in Assam has decided to get triggered by this. So as I again said, it's not about the actors being very powerful and showing what they are portraying. It is about what I am trying to say is about what, as an Air Force officer, when you mm. wear a uniform, 
what you tend to do it has some code of conduct right when we are looking at a movie again it takes us somewhere else we are not looking entirely at an officer's life so right. everything that is portrayed in the movie doesn't have to be considered that this is exactly an, how an officer conducts himself or herself now uh, when i saw fighter i didn't find anything wrong about the whole movie but again i am an individual and so yeah. are every officer with his or her own righteousness about mm. how he or she should conduct herself no no so you you make a you, you make a, a legal notice yeah you make a fair point and you know it's it's also separate that in a country that has a huge legal backlog in our courts should someone be wasting court time by uh, you know a, a, you know a personal a personal opinion about uh, you know a work of art uh, you know and you know actually wasting a national judicial time when commander kesarkar you've heard what squadron leader debolina has said it's an individual sort of thing uh, you know should anyone be offended uh, are you offended by this it's a bollywood masala film for god's sake Am and I these two pilots are also seen fighting being combat heroes etc okay i'll come to wing commander kesarkar the biggest apologies to our viewers for that bad line let me go to ravira she's an actor ravira what do you think do you think this is warranted people being offended it's a bollywood film squadron leader debolina who used to be a pilot very squarely says she is not offended at all but she understands that individuals may see it differently what do you think see as an actor i'd like to clarify it's a film not a documentary we have yeah. something called as cinematic leverage we can show little bit things much more exaggerated and in much more uh entertainment way because that's mm. what our industry stands for we want to entertain you guys if you actually see pilots flying out there who are actually fighter pilots they i'm sure are not you know they are risking their lives every single day to protect our country so they it's not entertainment for them for this for them this is like they are uh, protecting our country and mm. this is a film people are failing to understand it's for the basis of entertainment knowledge and you know spreading a uh, a different kind of story to the entire india or world so a kissing scene uh, offending people it's i think it's too much because mm. we do have that uh, cinematic leverage that we can show a little bit more uh, masala side to it and the yeah, entertainment yeah. side to it i think it's a cinematic masterpiece fighter as a film and again there's a difference between documentary we are not showing reality we are taking things out of reality and uh crafting it in a very cinematic space so that's you know, it's a, that it's not we we've, we've just for years and years you, you know ravira and squadron leader debolina for years and years we've seen movies like top gun many other military films yeah. where you know romance pyar mohabbat is a very very you know real part of those things so i am actually yes. a little surprised that Uh, you know this, this 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 case has been filed by even one person i take your point squadron leader debolina that this is one person's individual case that has been filed but it seems to send out the wrong message i mean why would someone be offended by something like this at all wing commander kesarkar do you have a view are you are you offended by this kissing scene by two pilots in their flight suits oh, that's a great question uh, let me start with the first of all the indian air force motto we said that the motto of indian air force is touch the sky with glory and yeah. this has been taken from the 11th chapter of gita the discourse mm. given by the lord krishna to arjuna on the battlefield of kurukshetra during the great uh, war of mahabharata lord showing mm. his supreme divine form to arjuna and the great form of lord is reaching the sky with glory evoking fear and loss of self control in the mind of arjuna the indian mm. force similarly aims to overwhelm the adversaries with the application of ace power space in the defense of the nation now we have certain uh, what do you call uh, ethos in the air force uh, and we also have certain uh, we have something known as air force act of 1950 and air force rules of 1969 we have certain codes uh, air warrior codes 10 of them now uh, we won't mind you showing a commercial i can we can understand your commercial angle as such but uh, certain dignity and certain respect needs to be uh, given to the uniform personal Is uh, this undignified, sir? A kiss is it undignified? Uh, when in a uniform, uh, it is undignified. Mm. I would uh, had it been the holding each other, uh, giving a embrace, would have been uh, okay with us. But in uh, uniform, mm. we don't kiss each other. 
that is uh, what is the message that i am going to give it to my next generation this sir, is a bollywood in film the next generation is kissing already sir I, we can understand but uh, they can kiss uh, they can go to mysore garden and do that <laughs> not in the arm forces no i i don't mean to be flippant i don't i take your point yeah no no continue your point sir so that that uh, you know uh, we have certain ethos and uh, to yeah. give you the uh, example in national defense academy we had uh, living instructors and even if you stare at them uh, mm. we, we used to get a punishment on a charge of <laughs> giving meaningful looks <laughs> so see, such is the serious uh, nature of thing that we take in arm forces we are proud of our uniform no i and, uh, we, see i have i've covered i have covered defense for 20 years so believe me when i say that even I, i even though i have a private opinion saying that this is a storm in a teacup nobody should get offended i actually you know understand that people you know might be a little uncomfortable now wing commander kesarkar is one of the most reasonable men i've met he's been on my show multiple times but i am actually surprised that he says it's undignified squadron leader debelina he actually proves your point that this is ultimately a uh, you know down to an individual perception of this matter so that is what i want to tell you shiv that uh, every individual is different first second is the uniform brings in a lot of responsibility what we are hmm. showing when we are wearing the uniform is very important because as uh, uh, sir has already told there is a code of conduct which we are supposed to follow in the air force and hmm. definitely this scene doesn't or this a uh, kind of conduct is not included in our military norms but again right. since it's a movie there is as a uh, uh, mam said that there is a uh, creative um, independence which which has to be accepted which has to be understood that it's not a documentary it is a movie for entertainment and when we go for entertainment we exaggerate things so it has been made in that way but mm. if somebody is contesting if somebody is putting a legal point on it we have to understand his sentiments behind it since But he is a person in uniform since he is again as we have already told the life of a pilot a fighter pilot is not easy and yeah, when correct that is portrayed for entertainment lot of people might take things personally which is not possible for everyone to understand that why that person is doing that I, so if you consider I, I, I I just find it difficult to believe that maybe there are children or youth out there who will see this and say chalo air force pilot ban jate hain ye sab kar you know karne ke liye milega obviously that's not going to be the case this is a new generation it's not like they're going to say uh, let's join the air force and we'll be able to kiss people obviously when you join the air force and become a fighter pilot and fighter pilots are amazing people uh, you know their training is going to tell them that you have an ethos that ethos will come once you join the air force but when people see rithik and deepika glam memorizing the air force people will want to join the air force it's an advantage they believe na me so i i am again telling you uh, shiv you're not understanding the sentiment behind it and if you are talking about that uh, what will people take from the movie i hmm. must tell you that it is a very very diverse subject what people take how people portray and what they finally do end up doing is not under our control okay, i mean okay. personally i have met lot of pilots who want to be pilot for the glamour rather hmm. than many other things that it's a, it's a hard job for. it's a hard job i agree i i completely agree with you ravira how would you respond you know it's a it, we are having a nice sober discussion it's nice to see so many different views on a sensitive issue you know forgy ethos forgy pride is a very very sensitive issue you know there are people on the other side in forge in forge in uniform in the air force who will disagree with you uh, 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 ravira and say nahi you don't understand it you have to wear the uniform to understand ki ye 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 signal kya jata hai how would you respond to that even though this is a bollywood masala film well there's a saying uh, you can't please everyone so i guess uh, some people or that person got hurt with that thing but again i stand by it people are failing to understand it's a film we are not showing a documentary so even if you are being heard we, we are actually discussing about all this because we are taking a care in the sentiments of that person that's why we are on this show right now mm. but people need to really understand this thing it is a cinema it, it is not real life and people should treat it in that way otherwise you see in cinema one person killing 500 people it's not possible in real life that time no one takes any 
comment on it. Oh, one person paying five hundred rupees. This can never happen. No, right? So this is a very small thing to actually take offense to. I respect the uniform. I respect the fighter pilots. I think they okay. are like protecting their country, and I have all due respect for the people actually doing it. But the actors in the film are not real fighter pilots. They're just portraying to be, and they do have the that creativity to show their acting. Poetic license, and, yeah. Uh, Wing Commander Kesakar, I'm almost out of time. Ravira, there's a little bit of a problem with your audio. I'll yeah. try and fix that. Uh, uh, do you think, do, you know, do you think action should be taken for something like this, or it can just remain a TV debates? Me, okay, sir. Court me, why go? Uh, you, you know, why, why bother courts? Waste time in courts, etc. It's okay to debate it in the court of public opinion, like we are doing. Yeah, I, I would, I am, I am with you on this. Uh, it is little, a uh, little harsher on the side. in mm-hmm. the matter could have been resolved at the director's level uh, you know uh, uh, when the other lady person speaking she said uh, you remember this film made on the film master manik shah what a wonderful movie that was made was there yeah. anything else in this kind of thing in that so wonderfully mm-hmm. made so wonderfully picturized movie so somewhere we uh, as a director or a commercial entity have to but but sir you know i have i have some examples and we'll just play that out on our screen also there have been you know through the years there have been so many films where you know military personnel are the protagonists this is for both uh, wing commander kesarkar and squadron leader debolina you know where romance is like a big thing in the films you know whether it is films like you know silsila whether it is films like vijayata other films you know there are there are many examples of romance being a very big part of you know indian air force life etc i take your point you know an embrace uh, you know a hug holding hands is very different from a kiss but would you agree with me that ye ye jo bollywood masala hai fauji stories mein ye to bahut saalon se chal raha hai sir yeah salo se chal raha hai we agree with that salo se chal raha hai somewhere it has to you know get into the line you want to draw the somewhere, line <laughs> somewhere it has to draw the somewhere they have to draw the line i mean um, but taking into the uh, what do you call courts is little far fetched i uh, would that today i been uh, avoided it hmm. uh, that is what my take on this okay i'm glad i'm glad we at least agree on that ravira Yeah, uh, you, you and the pilots may disagree on uh, you and wing commander kesarkar may disagree on whether the kiss should be you know permitted or not but all of us agree that court jana to thoda too much ho gaya ravira yes yes i i do think it's it's uh, like uh, stretching the matter too far if uh, someone is being hurt they can you know resolve it at their own level this is like uh, a stretch for a small incident if you got hurt we are really sorry for it like i can't say sorry from the entire industry but still you know it's too far to take such things to court absolutely i'm glad we've all had a very honest and frank discussion about this uh, you know uh, maybe 15 years ago people wouldn't have been able to even debate an on screen kiss but now of course we can the world has changed the air force has most definitely changed but one wing commander sitting in assam is not happy with the rithik deepika lip lock we'll have to see whether the courts actually take it up and it becomes a bigger story i had a lot of fun and i learned a lot talking about it with all of you the court of public opinion is where such things in my view should actually be fought ravira wing commander kesarkar squadron leader debelina thank you very much for your time here on india today meanwhile in a huge anti terror operation in india's national capital an active lashkar e taiba terrorist operating in jammu and kashmir was nabbed at the new delhi railway station he's been identified as riyaz ahmed who was operating a lashkar-e-taiba module in kupwara in north kashmir and was instrumental in receiving arms and ammunition from pakistan but the clincher in this story is that riyaz ahmed is a former indian army soldier he retired from the indian army on the 31st of january last year he was arrested at the new delhi railway station one mobile phone and one sim card has been recovered from his possession well that's a wrap on 5 lakh